What's up, guys? It's story time with Eek. And, uh, yeah, I got to admit defeat. I lost. I could not finish it, and I could not do it properly. And we're talking about just changing out the distributor on my Suburban. So let me go ahead and play a couple of clips from the other night, and then we'll talk about it, and we'll discuss what I did wrong and what we're going to do to fix it. All right, so the first thing I did was disconnect negative terminal. I pulled the air filter and the box off from right here. It's laying on the ground over there on the mat. And then I've pulled the plug wires off from the distributor cap so far. So up next, I'm gonna pull out the wires and then all the plugs. I'm gonna check each plug as they come out and I'll label them so I know what cylinder is doing what and I'll show you guys what they look like. All right, y'all, so this is the spark plugs in order from front driver, front passenger side, back. And you can tell they're not bad, but like this one, it's got a little bit more on it. This one, these are only about what three or four months old so we got those out and then we got some new ones right here gapped 0.35 I think that's done right I just split it right down the middle and that's per right there so let's get the plugs in. We'll start on this side and then we'll hit that side right there. All right guys, so the new distributor is in. So is the uh, ignition coil and then new plugs and wires. However, the distributor is not in correctly and it is not timed properly. So basically guys, here's what happened. I was following a video by a manufacturer of car parts and who also has a very large YouTube channel. And don't get me wrong, they do great videos and they have great tutorials. Here is the one thing that I did wrong. I followed a video where they replaced a distributor and the vehicle was already in time. So when I took that distributor out, what I did not do was come down here to cylinder number one and put it at top dead center. By not putting it at top dead center before I started this, what it ended up doing was putting the rotor out of whack and it was out of alignment when I took it out. And I could not get it back in because on the distributor, the oil pump line did not match. So here's the old distributor. It's uh, definitely time for it to be replaced. I mean, it's just, it's nasty. And the oil that I was talking about, the oil pump, that little, um, I don't even know what to call it, but this little thing right inside here did not line up properly. So I'm assuming when I pulled it out that I must have rotated it and done something wrong. So that little red tick mark is where the rotor was facing when I pulled it out. Now, had it have been at top dead center, that rotor would have been facing cylinder number one. That's what the biggest mistake that I made while trying to swap this out. So this distributor had never been replaced. And when I put it in, it wasn't seating properly. So I was trying to wiggle it around and I still couldn't get it in. So let me show you what I did to try to get it in. So I put a 16 millimeter bolt on a breaker bar and I started rotating the engine clockwise to try to get it to seat that distributor. And it still wouldn't go in. So that oil pump line on the distributor, that little tab and the oil pump weren't aligning. So that's why we couldn't get it in. So a friend of ours came over, laid across the entire truck and looked straight down in the distributor and with a giant flathead screwdriver was able to line it up for us. Once the oil pump was in alignment, 
with the distributor it sat flush so i was able to get it in and get it set up but it still wasn't timed properly because it was all out of whack and again this distributor had never been changed on this vehicle so i was looking for a white line down here on the harmonic balancer right down in there when i was using the timing light and i couldn't find it because it hadn't been marked so because I didn't set it to top dead center before I pulled the distributor, because I didn't put the distributor in time or close to timing to where you could adjust the distributor from side to side just a little bit, everything's completely out of whack. So Monday, we're going to redo it. We're going to set it at top dead center. We're going to pull the distributor out, double check to make sure it's still at top dead center reinstall the distributor we're going to mark the harmonic balancer and we will use the timing light to time everything properly and i will get this done but guys the other night it just it defeated me um i had spent almost six and a half hours trying to do this and i'm not a mechanic i'm i'm a guy that enjoys working on his own vehicles and doing his own thing um yeah, I, I got beat, uh, plain and simple. But there's there's no there's no shame in admitting that that you lost out on something or that you you weren't able to do it. But the issue is not learning from those mistakes that you made. So again, I'm going to make a video that's going to be a walkthrough of everything, and I'm not turning the camera off. Um, I will edit and stuff like that, but I'll have multiple shots um different angles and stuff like that like when when they were telling me like i called uh country mile garage that night four different times and when he was telling me i had to adjust the oil pump i'm like oh, well i know it's inside the motor but how the hell do i get to it how do i adjust it luckily my dad's friend chris lived right around the corner and was able to come over and show us how to do it i i didn't know and that's okay because now i do and again it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to um, not be able to do something. What's not okay is not learning from those mistakes and not overcoming them. So next week's video, we're going to get this installed and we're going to install it properly. Hey guys, I really appreciate all the support. We're sitting at 373 subscribers at the timing of this uh, recording. So do me a favor. Let's let's start bumping those numbers up, guys. Give me some video views. Leave me some comments down below. Like the video. Share them out. Tell your friends, hey, come check this guy out. So as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate everything you guys have done, and I'll catch you in the next one.